I'm going to show how to use MonoDevelop to generate packages for a project. Here I have a simple GTK Sharp application I want to distribute, so I would like to package it. And uh, the easiest way of uh, creating a package for a project project menu, and then click on Create Package. Here I can choose between several kinds of packages, uh, a kind of sources, a kind of binaries, or a tarball. I will start with uh, sources. I can choose in this next next uh, step uh, which projects I want to include in the package. In this case, the, my solution has two projects: the uh, a main project, which is contact manager, and a widget library, a library which is uh, uh, in another project. So I will choose both of them. Then the, in the in the last step, I can choose um, the the file format for the for the archive. In this case, I can choose, for example, Visual Studio. So it will generate a Visual Studio solution and the name of the file, the target folder, and that kind of of archive. In this case, the zip. Okay, so click on create. Will generate the, the the archive and will include all the sources and will include in this case. Uh, CS Pro file with the Visual Studio solution. Another kind of, of package I, I can create is an archive of binaries. It's more or less the same, but uh, it builds the, the solution and uh, just includes the, the binaries in the, in the archive. So in this case, I could, could just use these default options and it will include the, the executable, the library and the other files. And the third kind of package I can generate is a tarball. I can choose as well which projects to include. And here I can, uh, well I have several options. One of them is using existing make files. If uh, my project already has make files, I can use those for generating the tarball or I can choose to generate new make files for my solution, in this case there are two, two other options, use auto tools to generate, use an uh, auto tools page make file or use a simple make file uh, which would which will not depend on auto tools and is more simple but it can also do some basic package checks, checks on dependencies and so on. So I will use uh, the auto tools uh, make file. And here it is, it has generated the make files, it has, uh, it is running now make this to generate the tarball and, well, it's done, so the package has been generated. Okay, uh, since getting package is a rather common operation in the life of a project, uh, MonoDevelop has the option to create a project, which is a packaging project. And, um, in this case, I have to I have to go to packaging and select packaging project. Oh, packages, and I can add in this special project several kind of package I want to include in my solution. So, for example, the same I've, I've done in the in the other command. So, create a sources package. Oops. I can add a tarball package. So all these is all these uh, packages are stored in the solution, and every time I want to generate the packages for my solution, I just have to go here and click on build, and it will generate all my packages. There is some configuration options I can change. If I double click on the package, I can see the options I have been using. In the case of the tarball, I can see that the, the kind of make file, the solutions included, and the files being deployed. And as you can see, there are some uh, some files. For example, this launch script, which is being generated by the the packaging solution 
and also this uh, pkg config file for the for the library which is also being automatically generated uh, this information can be changed here in the project options there is in the deployment section there is a um, uh, the, this generate launcher script option where I can change the name the, of the script and so on and in the library I can change also I can choose whether to, gener to generate the uh, PC file or not so all this information is taken and uh, the packager uh, uses it to generate uh, uh, those additional files this is another file I can add to my project which is an application launcher um, when I want, when what I what I want is uh, that when I install my application to the desktop, I want to create uh, an entry to the desktop menu, application menu, contact manager. So the user will be able to to launch my application from there. So to, uh, to do that, I have to to, to add uh, the desktop file, which which contains all the information for the for the launcher in this case I have to add the name the, of the application that will be shown in the menu I can set a comment, an icon or here is the command to use to run the application I can choose the menu categories where, where it has to be included in this case for example it could be a, a game and so on so now if I build my let me build uh, the package again I'm going to now to install the, the application and, and see how how it, it works so here are the packages I'm going to package the tarball it has the configure skip make and make install so the application is installed uh, to run the application I can just type contact manager since the launcher skip is installed it will launch the application also if I go to my uh, desktop application menu in games I can see here my application and launch it from there. So what I've done is to add some uh, packaging options to a project that, that uh, I already had. Uh, in case you are creating a new project, there are some options you can uh, set from the beginning to think to make things uh, even easier. So, for example, I will create a new project. Um, so, example. Uh, step of the project uh, creation dialog. I can choose in the uh, packaging section to create uh, an archive for sources or create a tarball or create an archive for binaries or whatever I can choose everything I can also set some information configuration information for the Unix integration like setting if uh, I want to create a, a launcher script or if I want to generate a desktop file Okay. Here I have I, here I have my my project with a desktop file, and my packaging project with all the packages I, I selected. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for listening.